Sorry is probably one of the games that is the most entertaining when it comes to watching football and having a team besides but there is of course risk involved and I have gotten a lot of questions about how to play risk free and how to minimize that risk by buying Sorer cards. In this video I will talk about uh, like the strategies and the best things to do to almost guarantee you making profit on a low budget because depending on like the higher you go up the harder it is to actually have a guarantee of earning the money you spend into the game back. And a very, very important reminder, this isn't financial advice at all, this is just my opinion and uh, I have a lot of sorrow experience so I talk from my experience now and what has went good for me and what has went bad for me. Uh, and first of all there will be two different parts of this video, one for you guys that have never heard about Sora or never signed up or never spent a penny on the game. That will be the second part and the first part will be for you guys that have played Cap240 before um, because the first strategy will be specifically for Cap240 Limited uh, because like probably you guys that have played Cap240 Limited before know that there have been, there have been a change but that change can be very very positive for you guys that are brand, not brand new but pretty new if that makes sense or on a low budget. Uh, and also the reasoning for uh, if you're a new player and the reasoning for me having that after uh, where I go through Cap 240 and everything is because there are of course a new update, a new transition period and uh, like like the common structure of things, for example beginners, uh, semi-pro and etc. that will be completely revamped. Uh, and if you're brand new to the game, this doesn't probably make too much sense, so just stick with me and you can skip through the video and it will be clear when I move on to uh, for you guys that are brand new or free to play or on a very very low budget because there are a lot of things to talk about in today's video and I hope I meant that, uh, made that clear. But now, let's jump into what I would personally do. If I had played Cap 2 Fort before, are on a low budget and now we can just say uh, let's say that I'm new to Sorare and of course have played Cap 240 before so I'm eligible to play it now. I would probably just grind the lowest threshold targets. And I would now, because of course the MLS prices are so expensive, we can just look at an example of a goalkeeper. A starter goalkeeper, $4. Only $4 a starter goalkeeper. Uh, from Odd and Norwegian team and the perfect thing with this is that his price are very very fair because the elite set in the Norwegian league isn't, isn't kicking off uh, until game week 463 and that is perfect you get good value of money and you can use him for the rest of the summer until the official update in August and your goal is to just grind as many thresholds as possible with him and this is just an example of one player mm. And like this strategy uh, involves of course going all in in Cap 240. If, of course if you're on a low budget I think Cap 240 is still the best division to go for you. Um, and going for that lower threshold, of course it isn't the same as the $5 threshold but now goalkeepers have been even cheaper than they were before. And I will go through a 5 side team that I would have gone for that I think will 100% guarantee you some profit. And once again this isn't financial advice but that is just my opinion. Andre Hansen is a goalkeeper I really like as I mentioned. Uh, he in terms of his scores he, he played for Rosenborg. Odd is a bad, worse team than uh, Rosenborg. I don't know. I don't watch Elite Team too much but I think that. And I think he will going to be a very very important piece. Very very routine goalkeeper. And in defense, uh, Anders Hagelskjær, I have no idea why he's so cheap, especially in limited. Just look at this, 2.5 dollars, yeah, you can get him for even cheaper. Just look at his scores, and this is against tough opponents, this isn't in the elite serien. Probably one of the worst league in, I'm not going to offend any Norwegians out there, so. Uh, but elite serien are the good league, let's just put it that way. And against tough oppositions, he does very very well, against Leverkusen he didn't do too well, but getting almost even after conceding five goals against Leverkusen says a lot about him and I think this season will be very good for him and this is just a player that will consistently perform for you and it's a cap to fourth player at the end of the day you can't expect too much from him and like now we're up to a little over six dollars and in the midfield we're going to have Mats Müller Dali a little over a little bit over four dollars or I think you can get him below that as well 
He's going to be incredible. I believe that personally. He will be incredible for Monday. He has moved away from the second tier in Bundesliga and there is a big step down from there to Elite Serien in my opinion. I think he will smash it. We have seen against uh, Lega Varsava and Club Brugge. He has some good AA in him and he can consistently hit those high 60, high 70. I think in uh, at Molde. Molde is a very good team in Elite Serien. Uh, now we are on $10 and now in forward we have Torgeir Berven. This is the hidden gem of the team. The striker with a low L15 that can here and there hit you those decisives. $1 in limited, a bargain in my opinion. He, like, when growing up, uh, this was actually because I live at the stadium, uh, which is a team that is called Valdringa, and they played before at Ullevold Stadion. So I remember watching him, I think, uh, or like, I need to actually check that because I don't need to. Uh, yeah, he has been a Valdringa legend, haven't he? Like, I need to check that, I'm sorry guys, I need to just check it because I may... Um, because if that actually was him, because I think there are two different, uh, two different players with the same name. I need to just check that very quick, I'm sorry for breaking this video up. No, he, yeah, he was actually, yeah, yeah, he was in 2013, I actually watched Torgeir Berven, he played for Wåhlerenga, uh, and that is actually a very fun story, that was probably my first ever football match, uh, and then I watched Torgeir Berven, and I think he scored, I'm not 100% sure, but I really liked watching him play actually when I was a little kid, um, so in one way he introduced me to the beautiful game, which I... Really like, so this is also sentimental value, so don't like, but still one dollar, like you can't go too wrong with that. And he has now came to Odd, which was his first club I think. Uh, so yeah, very interesting player here, I think he will do very well, not very well, but I think he will score a lot at the start. Because he has some very very good features at the start as well, and a do double game week in the fancy game of Elite Serien, uh, but not on Sorrier though. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the extra player, and that is going to be Jens Petter Hauge. He is the, a very, very expensive player, and that is just an example of uh, the remaining of the budget. What do you want to spend it on? Of course, in if you want to go for a full elite serien team, you can pick up a good elite serien player, because now we can see with all these players, there are very many players here that have low L15s, so you could also buy a smasher of a player. But I've gone for Jens Petrage because I generally think he's still underpriced of $12. He's going to smash it. We, are, we have seen against uh, Ajax home and away. 95 pointer and a 65 pointer. His, his midfielder card got almost a 100 pointer. Like he's a fantastic player. And I really like, uh, like he's going to replace Pellegrino. Pellegrino's position at Bodeglimt. And if we go to Pellegrino, uh, we can see that uh, Pellegrino... When he played at Bodeglimt, he had these type of scores. So, yeah, this is just an insane player in my opinion. Um, and yeah, uh, of course, you don't need to go for him. But, like, it's it's a player, it's it's an example of a good elite serien player. And it could be, like, anyone, to be honest. He isn't a speci like that special, but, of course, depending on your budget. Like, this team, besides uh, these four players, is, like... $11, so that is very, very low. And let's say you take another player, a very cheap player, uh, let's say um, a Rosenborg center back, for example, Rosenborg, which is minted a lot of cheap. Uh, yeah, Pereira, I think he's currently injured or something. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Henriksen, maybe, Marcus Henriksen, I don't know, I don't think he will play, no, he won't play. But like, this is just an example, find a player, or for example, uh, let's say Nipan, I think Nipan is going to be very, very important. $16, yeah, yeah, he's expensive because he's one of the best wonder kids in Norway at the moment. But you, I think you know where I'm heading at. And that is a very underrated strategy, in my opinion. Just grind cap to 20, cap to 40 thresholds, I mean. And of course, you have, of course, before the new Cap to 40 format update, you have needed to actually play the game before that. That was what I was explaining at the start. And I think if you need to utilize Cap to 40 as long as possible, especially if you're on a low budget, because there are a lot of money to gain there, in my opinion. Uh, but now let's move on to 
uh, you guys that are brand new to the game, or if you aren't brand new to the game, or you have just not played Capture Forte before, uh, the new like change of Capture Forte. Uh, like, of course, now in the transition period, there will be a new system. Now, of course, you can buy one card for, for example, the top six leagues, and I can go over here actually and show you. New common card format. Because before, yeah, you could have. Uh, it was like the kick of divisions. You could buy, for example, one player from La Liga and play him in La Liga kickoff, where we had four common cards and one La Liga player. Like this information isn't so important for you guys that are brand new. The most important thing is to move forward to the transition transition period. And although it's 29th of March, it's actually right after the international break, so it isn't that long too. So you could actually start preparing now, and this is also for you guys that are um, uh, that are, uh, are actually playing Captain Ford Limited, I think, because I don't know how they're going to decide which one that is eligible to play this. I think there is the same with you need to have less than 10 limited cards. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't say here, but we can just read it fast for you guys that are interested, and I will also go through some example of, examples of low-risk players. Uh, and we can uh, read this, as mentioned, we are making changes to the amateur and kickoff format to improve guiding new pro managers early on, helping them feel like they are learning and making progress. The biggest change is the merging of the draft and the team compos composition. Managers, managers will no longer draft 8 cards, swap them week over week, and then choose 5 to enter. Instead, now it's very important. Managers will directly create their team from all players in the corresponding league. PL, Champion, Challenger and, col uh, and Contender. And this is actually very important because now you could, for example, go through... Uh, you could actually one week have a full Rosenberg lineup in Norway in the amateur divisions and that is just incredible. Uh, it could be for, for example, Midtjylland, it could be for uh, MLS team, a Premier League team, you name it. Uh, with no cap restrictions, so you can add Messi, Suarez, you can have your dream team, digit N. Uh, when game weeks end, managers, managers will be able to draft any five cards they want for the following game week. No common cards remain in the manager's gallery, just like in Rivals. So for example, if Inter Miami have an incredible feature at the weekend, but right after they have a very tough feature, it doesn't matter because you can just change them every one. And that is something that is very, very cool in my opinion. Uh, as an integral part of the new pro game, relegation promotion will play a key role in the new common card format. And yeah, as I, as I explained, like there will be different divisions and I made a video talking about this in specific. Managers will earn reward boxes as they get promoted in two different competitions, the basic tutorial, the equivalent of amateur, common cards only. And this is important, this is common cards only, this is 100% free to play. In this video I will go through the budget tips, so I will like of course um, the common cards only. I would personally go a little bit different it, if I would have been you making teams going for like the big players that gets 100 consistently but not the most known players for example Messi and etc because those so many people are going to have them but that is free to play so you have no risk there but here we have and the advanced tutorial the equivalent of kickoff one limited card required and then you only need one limited card and Keep in mind, I don't know how... Okay, we need to read this first. The basic tutorial and advanced tutorial will be available for each of in-season competitions and all, and all managers, new and old, will have access when uh, we release these competition. Once the manager wins all possible... Yeah, like so... We don't know how many teams you can have in each one of those, but I think there is only one. Or I'm not like I'm not sure at all actually, but like here it doesn't say. I think there will be more in information soon. But either way, that doesn't have too much to say because you can keep on preparing now. Like if I would have predicted, it, I think there will be more, uh, like there will be more entries in, for example, these. So you just, so you can, for example, have four cards and make four different teams. That would be incredible cool, and that is something I hope they're doing. But like this is just, this came out of nowhere. This was for four days ago. Uh, but don't be too confused. Like it's very simple. You can pick like four players. Uh, in this advanced tutorial, you can pick four random players from like the entire world and then you can buy one extra player uh, A limited player from your like, that you need to buy from your gallery and like one one example of a low-risk player is Yunus Abdelhamid 
you can now go out there and pick up a Yunus Abdel Hamid for 0.4 dollars for Norwegian kroners. That is a fox. If you know what that uh, if you know what that means, that is a candy. Like that is just like that is a bus ticket. Like that is incredible cheap. And he like you look here, his scores aren't the best, but all time just he's incredible scorer. Like especially if we go now, yeah, we can go to all time. He's a very good scorer. He's the captain of the team. He has been on a poor run of form, having made some errors lately, but he's the captain. He's an important player. He was good when he played at the AFCON with Morocco. So this is a player I really, really like and really fancy. So this is just an example. You can like do your own research with this one, and it doesn't need to be in the most known leagues. It could be a player from your hometown. It could be everyone, and this is something I really like with Sawyer. They are now making the onboarding process more general and making it more entertaining entertaining and fun to new managers actually starting players and playing so rare. You can now go out there and buy players and etc. But keep in mind these and of course Yunus Abdul Hamid you could actually also use in the kick of divisions now. But like your preparation should be ahead not for now because you will only have one game week of utility for him and that is against Mets. And then after that it will completely change. So yeah. Um, that That's it I think. You of course um, do you have any questions? If you're brand new to the game, or if you haven't signed up, please use my link in the description. It helps me, it helps you. If you buy five players from the auction market or instant buy market, I will get $20 and you will also get $20. So that's incredible. Uh, or use any other affiliate link. You don't need to use mine. Use one that you think the supporter deserves. Simple as that. Uh, and yeah, uh, thank you once again for watching today's video. And as I said, do you have any questions? I'm going to be answering every question I get, so uh, please free, uh, feel free to ask anything. Uh, and yeah, my name has been Yusalde, and I will catch you next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.